What's going on guys, this is Miesid, and today we just got some new Earthbound support from the character Sergei from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, I think he was like a terrorist or something, but yeah, a really interesting deck because it was the only strategy in the uh, anime or whatever that was able to fusion and synchro summon at the very same time, so if we could actually get those cards in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh! I would definitely be really happy, and another thing that would be really funny would be getting some FTK support because right now the Earthbound Immortals are actually pretty dog shit at doing anything that isn't an FTK, and the reason for that is because the Greater Line Walker can literally inflict like 5,000 life points to your opponent indirectly. It's rather that you're reducing your opponent's life points to 3,000. So then you just have to burn 3,000 and you win the game. So yeah, let's review all these new cards. But before this video starts, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate you. And now let's get right into it. All right, so these new cards are going to be in Animation Chronicle 3, if I recall correctly. But whatever, the first card is Earthbound Prisoner Groundkeeper, level 1 Dark Fiend Tuner Effect Monster. Uh, you can only use the first effect once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can special summon one level 5 or lower. Earthbound Monster from your deck or Graveyard, that's pretty good, except itself, or a card that's not even supposed to be an Earthbound Monster. I think it was a monster that was played by, like, a Bakura or something. Anyways, you can not special summon monsters from the extra, de from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except Fusion and Synchro Monster monsters. Uh, you see, my memory's pretty good. I knew it was a deck that, uh, you know, combined fusion and synchro. Anyways, Earthbound monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects while there is a card in the field zone except Earthbound Spirit. How the hell are you getting Earthbound Spirit, which is a level 4 vanilla monster in the field zone? It's literally impossible. Like, uh, like literally. Anyways, Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. This looks like uh, Chaku Chalua, in a way. Anyways, level 5 Dark Fiend, 1616. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's demons per turn, so in other words, it's an inherent summon. You can only use the second effect of this card's demons per turn. If this card is in the field zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. Not bad. Uh, you can discard this card, add one level 3 or lower Fiend Tuner from your deck to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except fusion and synchro monsters. This card is generically good in so many decks, so this card can generically search Inferno Decatron. But it can also search the Resonator monsters, and being locked under Synchro only, if you're playing Resonator, really doesn't matter. So this card is fantastic. I could definitely see this card being played in, like, just any deck, honestly, in the future, if, you know, they play, like, low-level Fiend Tuners, because, of course, this only searches Fiend Tuners. But it's really not the end of the world. I think this card's amazing. And if you draw multiples, it's not too bad. You discard the first copy, search something else, and then the second copy, you just special summon it from the hand, assuming that you have something in the field zone. So, not bad at all. I really like this card, and I also really like this card. It's pretty much like a tour guide. So, so far, so good. All right, Earthbound Prisoner Linewalker. Oh, this is adorable. It's a baby greater Linewalker. Level 3 Dark Fiend Tuner Effect. Literally a tour guide target. You can only use both effects once per turn. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Earthbound Prison or Harmonic Synchro Fusion from your deck or graveyard to your hand. These are two cards that we do not know at the moment, so yeah, definitely doesn't ring any bells. If you control a level 6 or higher Earthbound Monster except Earthbound Spirit, what the hell, man? D nobody's gonna play that card in anyways. You can banish this card from your grave, then target one opponent's effect monster special summon from the extra deck, shuffle it into the deck, then your opponent can special summon one monster with the same name from their extra deck. This is actually so stupid. Like, you're getting rid of an opponent's monster special summon from the extra deck just so that your opponent can summon the exact same monster right after. Unless there's, like, a random strategy with this, it literally achieves nothing. Like, literally nothing. But at least this effect is pretty good. So, yeah, I'll take it. Anyways, now we've got a fusion monster. All right, all right, all right. Earthbound Servant Geo Kraken. Level 8 Dark Fiend. It's technically a super poly target in case this deck ever becomes... Nah, it's not gonna happen because even if, you know, this deck becomes relevant, it's just gonna be FTKing you. So super poly is never gonna be doing anything. Anyways, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's demons per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can add one field spell from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Thank goodness this card is not a level 5 or lower fusion monster, otherwise instant fusion would be terraforming. This is already a really good effect, like already. If a monster monster is a special summon from your opponent's extra deck, haha, <laughs> uh, haha, <laughs> where was I? You can destroy as many of their monster special summon this turn as possible, and if you do inflict 800 damage to them for each monster destroyed by this effect. Very reminiscent to Asilapiscu, which is the hummingbird. So yeah, it's, it's kind of dog shit because you're not going to be able to really do that on turn 1. So, yeah, I, I actually don't really like this, but the first effect is not bad. Alright, Earthbound Servant Geo, what the hell? Geo Grasha. 
uh, all right. Anyways, level uh, 10 Dark Fiend. It's just that this word doesn't ring like any bells. Like, what is it supposed to mean? One Earthbound Fusion Monster, holy shit. And an Earthbound Synchro Monster, really uh, hard to summon big boy, yeah? Must be fusion summoned. Oh, damn. You can only use the second effect of this card Z must return. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a monster, change that monster's attack and defense to zero. Yeah, that's that's super ass. If an opponent's monster is destroyed by battle by card effect, you can destroy all cards they control. Another garbage effect. If this face-up card leaves the field by your opponent, you can special summon one earthbound monster from your deck or extra deck except itself. Due to how ridiculously difficult this card is to summon, it's really bad. Really, really bad. So yeah, ironically, this, this card is way better than this. Yeah. Anyways, earthbound servant geo gremlin another sussy name but uh maybe it might be good so this card is obviously a joke to summon because this uh this card would surge this and then you normal and then special summon this one plus five equals six and this is a level six uh, synchro monster relatively generic only the tuner has to be dark you can only use both effects of this crazy monster turn during the main phase quick effect you can target one face of monster upon controls your opponent chooses one of these effects for you to apply destroy that monster or gain life points equal to that monster's attack oh my god none of these effects are good during the battle phase quick effect you can fusion summon one earthbound fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from your hand field and or graveyard this effect would have made the card absolutely insane if it was not necessarily during the battle phase if you could also use it on the main phase then it would be nuts because then a one card combo would essentially end on yeah terraforming as well because you synchro and then you fuse which is pretty good so yeah it's it's just a little unfortunate that you can't really do everything with one card but uh, whatever anyways we've got another uh, synchro monster oh my such a beautiful artwork i love it earthbound servant geo griffin level 8 dark fiend synchro again relatively generic outside of the fact that you need a dark tuner both effects are once per turn quick effect you can special summon one earthbound monster from your graveyard in defense also uh no sorry except itself or earthbound spirit also, you can all special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except fusion and synchro monsters. This is looking scary as hell. You can revive back Greater Landwalker and easily reduce your opponent's life points to 3,000. So, yeah, I mean, this is really good. Really, really good. Like, you can play this, like, generically in a deck that mills a lot. Like, you know, it's... I can think of like so many decks that would be able to like abuse this and then immediately burn your opponent for so much. And we're not done yet. If this card is destroyed by your opponent, you can destroy one card on the field, then inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each Earthbound monster with different name you control and in or your graveyard, except Earthbound Spirit. It's gonna be really hard to burn for 3000 if you only burn for 300 for each Earthbound. So that's kind of bait. I can immediately think of four names. So this one, Greater Linewalker. And then these two boys right here, so that's four, but then you need six more names to deal, you know, that uh, 3,000 damage, so that's kind of sus. Making this card die by your opponent is also a little difficult. You're gonna have to give, like, your opponent, like, a monster, and then that monster has to, uh, has to have, like, a mandatory effect to destroy one of your monsters. It's a little too much to ask. Anyways, we've got uh, Earthbound Prison now, so when this card is activated, you can target one effect monster upon controls. This card gains this effect, so negate that monster's effects. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Earthbound monster in addition to your normal summoner set, except uh, this should they should not include this text in these cards. In instead of doing that, just like Errata Earthbound Spirit, so that it says this card is never treated as an Earthbound monster, they did that with, like, Frog the Jam, right? You know, it's, it was the same thing with, like, Cyberstein. Cyberstein's real name is not Cyberstein, it's actually Mechastein. You can only uh, gain this effect once per turn. If this card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and you have an Earthbound monster on your field and or in your grave, half your opponent's life points and if you do, negate the effect of all face-up cards they currently control until the end of this turn. Making your opponent destroy this card uh, while you have like an Earthbound monster on your field and or in your grave is not that difficult. Like you're gonna have to find a way to like special summon like Trap Tricks Mermelio to your opponent's field. And then Mermelio has a mandatory effect to destroy your card. You know, you have your opponent's life points, which is actually not that good because your opponent goes from 3,000 to 15. And then again, you only have four names that you can easily burn with. If you had like five names, then it would be exactly 15 and then that would be the FTK because this card is really easy to search and it allows you to like go into your combo easily anyways. So yeah, very close, but uh, no, so, no, 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 not, it's... Not close enough, unfortunately. Harmonic Synchro Fusion, what the hell? A uh, normal spell, you can only activate one card with this card's name as per turn. You can all special summon the monsters from the extra deck to turn you activate this card, except fusion and synchro monsters. Send two face-up monsters you control to the grave, one tuner and one non-tuner. 
Special summon one fusion monster and one synchro monster from your extra deck that can be fusion and synchro summoned using only the sent monsters in the graveyard as material. Yeah, so this is basically uh, what I was referring to at the very beginning of the video. I said that this deck was the only deck that could simultaneously fusion and synchro summon. And I can't believe that Konami actually gave us that fan service for all of us uh, anime fans. Now we finally have a way to double summon from the extra deck with one single card. But when you think about it, from like a purely pragmatic standpoint, the only thing that this card really does is a miracle fusion. Because you can synchro summon you without relying on cards. And this card, all it really allows you to do, like uh, on top of everything that you're doing, is just like summon like a fusion monster with the materials being used from the graveyard, but without having to banish them. So that's, I, I guess, relatively interesting, but I think the uh, condition was not necessarily needed. Now, one thing that is also very neat is the fact that this card is generic. It's not locked under... It doesn't lock you under Earthbound only. Yeah, no, yeah, this this is really bad, but yeah, again, at least you can use this in, like, other decks, probably. I can't really think of, like, a single deck that only really wants to summon Fusion and Synchro. That's really sus. Like, every deck is now trying to play Link Monsters and Xyz Monsters as well if they can, but whatever. All right, let's 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 look at the other Earthbound monsters that they have, because I think most of them are absolute dog shit. So Asila Piscu is, of course, pretty good if you can give the um, Black Garden tokens to your opponent uh, with the, the Garden Rose Maiden that can search it. So that's uh, how I was doing the FTK back in the days. And then you got the Earthbound Linewalker, which is completely useless. Uh, nobody's going to play it. The Greater Linewalker is really broken, and now we have the Baby Linewalker. Prisoner Linewalker, really cool. So we have, like, a bunch of Linewalkers. And a Hundred Eyes Dragon, which was played by uh, uh, the guy who played Infernity in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, I forgot his name. And finally, Earthbound Geoglyph, which I think is completely irrelevant. Probably a dog shit card and was probably not even played by a thingy. Hold on, while any level 10 monster in the yeah, circuit now, you can treat one single monster to tribute for the holy crap, this is so bad. Fantastic, okay, yeah, nobody cares. Alright, a lot of really bad cards, <laughs> basically. But yeah, uh, what do I think about all these cards? Not bad. I mean, some of them are genuinely insane. Like, this is really good. This is extremely good. Like, really, really insane. Uh, this is not bad at all. And, you know, also searches as well, which is really, you know, not too bad. Uh, so if you, if you have, like, you know, any two-card combo can allow you to do so much, honestly. I can already picture it in my head. So there is definitely a lot of uh, potential here. But again, if you're not FTKing your opponent, you're pretty much doing nothing at all. So that is the only issue that I have with this deck because, uh, again, you're locked under fusion and synchro only. So unless you're trying to, like, generically make, like, negates, which wouldn't be that great because, again, one-card combos is always something that people can uh, welcome. Uh, because both of these cards are one-card starters. So maybe, to a certain extent, I could imagine some splash ability in some random decks. But they do take your normal summon... Uh, except for this one if you have like a card in the field zone, but then it's just like an extender that doesn't do anything. And then this card you always already have to commit. Uh, this card has a pretty useless effect from the extra deck, so I'm not a big fan. And then this is... I mean, it's not that it's bad. I guess it's an interruption to... If you, if you want to go on that route, but honestly, the way I'm seeing it, this deck should only focus on killing your opponent, burning to death. This is what we're trying to do. Anything else, if you're trying to make a board, I think it's not really worth it, but... Maybe that's just me being very close-minded and, uh, you know, biased because of my experience with Earthbound Immortals. Because, like I said, I built an FTK in the past and it did involve Greater Line Walker. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. And let me know your thoughts about these new cards in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.